From the Cartoon Channel Studios in Hollywood, it's the KC Pop Quiz! Let's meet today's quizzers. He's our new returning champ who loves building Legos, Bentley. His nine-year-old George arrival wants to be an architect, Madison. Will Bentley building block the competition or will Madison construct a win? Now here's your host, Casey Simpson. Hello, and welcome to KC Pop Quiz, the show that is the keeper of the all-powerful Infinity Rap. Don't tell Thanos. KC Pop Quiz is just like a pop quiz in school. Except no, absolutely not. Because here you win stuff for knowing your stuff. And check out where you get to pick your stuff. The KC Pop Quiz Prize Gallery of Dreams. Let's check in with our contestants. First, we have Madison. Madison, welcome to KC Pop Quiz. What have you chosen for your border today? I've chosen smiley faces. Nice. Madison, is there any topic you know a lot about that hopefully comes up on today's pop quiz? Um, no, not really. Looks like you're a savant of all things pop quiz. All right, and Madison, you're also in arts and crafts. Why do you like to paint? I like to paint because I like to show my personality and how anything is possible by just doing one little thing and making it a masterpiece. Hopefully you'll make today's quiz your masterpiece. The only person standing in your way is Bentley. Welcome back to KC Pop Quiz. Last game you played nearly perfectly, amassing 1,800 points. Is there a prize in the Pop Quiz gallery that's already on your mind? I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking at that Xbox. It looks amazing. <laughs> All right. Our two competitors will answer eight questions across three rounds of increasing point value and difficulty to crown the ultimate quizzing returning champion. Then, at the end, the loser will have to cash out their points in the pop-up pyramid today, while the winner gets to come back to pool their points for even sweeter prizes. This way, no one goes home empty-handed because our players are already at home. We're starting with the Think Fast round. You'll have two answer choices to choose from, but not much time to do it. Each question is worth 100 points. Here we go. Is Orlando, Florida home to A, Disneyland, or B, Disney World? Reveal your answers in three, two, one. <laughs> Bentley chose A, Disneyland, while Madison said B, Disney World. The correct answer is B, Disney World. Congrats, Madison. Here on KC Pop Quiz, we strive to give you worldly knowledge. Next question. Is the cartoon miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir A, a French show, or B, a Dutch show? Reveal your answers in three, two, one. All right, you both went with A, a French show, and you are both correct. Noir means black in French, and it's also just very fun to say. Noir, noir, noir. At least for me. All right. True or false, MTV's Jersey Shore was the first reality show of all time. Reveal your answers in three, two, one. All right, Madison's going with true while Bentley says false. The correct answer is false. Congrats, Bentley. You're getting yourself another 100 points and tying up the score. Although Jersey Shore is the first show to make Bruce Springsteen embarrassed of his home state. Is the length of a human's small intestines A, longer, or B, shorter than me when stretched out? Reveal your answers in three, two, one. All right, you're both going with B, shorter. The answer is A, longer. Your small intestines stretch out to about 22 feet. And with that disgusting fact, we're on to round two. Now it's time for our second round. Think a little slow. You'll have a little more time to think of your answers, but not too much because we want to get to that pop-up pyramid. And questions are worth 200 points. What was the TikTok app known as before it was called TikTok? A, KitKat, B, Lip Sync, C, Musical.ly, or D, 
Twitter. Bentley looks excited, but now both of you reveal your answers in a three, two, one. All right, you're both going with C musically, and you are both correct. Which of these is the name for the NBA team from Utah? A, Saints, B, Blues, C, Jazz, or D, Nets? Reveal your answers in three, two, one. Bentley said C, Jazz, while Madison chose A, Saints. The answer is C, Jazz. Bentley, you look very excited with that question. Are you a big basketball fan? Not a big basketball fan, but yes, I do like basketball. A medium-sized basketball fan. All right, understandable. What's your favorite sport to play? Probably baseball. Baseball, the correct answer was Casey Pop Quiz. No, I'm just messing with you. And Madison, what about you? What's your favorite sport? Um, I like soccer. Well, hopefully you'll score a goal with this next question. There are five states which touch... I just want to take a pause and thank you, Bentley, for laughing at that. I really appreciate it. All right. Now, there are five states which touch the Pacific Ocean. They are California, Alaska, Hawaii, Washington. And which state? A, Oregon. B, Nevada, C, Louisiana. Or D, Florida. All right, reveal your answers in three, two, one. Bentley says A, Oregon, and Madison says C, Louisiana. The answer is A, Oregon. Congratulations, Bentley, you got it right. Even though you look confused that you got it right, you still did, which means our score looks at 800 for Bentley and 400 for Madison. Currently, Bentley has the lead, but we don't know how the infinity question is going to go. In the Think Fast round, you had two answer choices for 100 points. In the Think a Little Slower round, you had four answer choices for 200 points. In the infinity round, you have one question, an infinite number of choices with 1,000 points at stake. If you get this, and your competitor does not, you win Casey Pop Quiz and get to come back as our returning champion, along with getting 1,000 more points to get some super sweet prizes in the pop-up pyramid. Okay, markers at the red. For 1,000 points, here is your infinity question. The mythical creature known as the jackalope is a cross between a jackrabbit and what other animal? I will give you a hint. The animal is often represented with deer antlers, but deer is not the answer I am looking for. Obviously, that would be way too easy. Now, we're gonna need a marker draw in three, Two, one. All right, doing it with style, I like it. Madison, we're gonna start with you. Currently you have 400 points. What did you write down as the right animal? Moose. Moose, okay, what made you choose moose? Um, because it has antlers. All right, gotcha, the antlers. Okay, I see what you're thinking. Bentley, what did you write? Did you write moose? I also wrote moose, yes. You also wrote moose. Okay, what made you choose moose? Um, I thought of the antlers, and then I thought, oh, it could be a moose, and then I wrote moose, so. For 1,000 points, a jackalope is a cross between a jackrabbit and... an antelope. So neither of you got the right answer, though you both seem to be having revelatory moments about why the antelope makes sense. But that means that with 800 points, Bentley is our two-time returning champion. But Madison, you still have 400 points. So let's head on over to the KC Pop Quiz Prize Gallery of Dreams so you can pick some fun prizes. All right.
Here we are. So, Madison, you can choose any four items from the 100-point row. I want the laser pegs and the virtual reality headset. Nice. The microphone. All right, great. That's 100 points to go. The giant pez dispenser. All right, well, that means you are coming away from Casey Pop Quiz with four excellent prizes. 